feeling dizzy. I always feel dizzy when I'm waking up. My mouth dry too. It's pretty awful. I smack my lips and rub my eyes. I'm still kind of tired. Ugh. Man, why was I tired? I'm not... Oh yeah, got lost along the way to the Dales. Told Ma I didn't need that horse. He's so dumb. It would have been better just walking home. Spooked by a dang partridge. Seriously? He must have bolted about half a mile before bucking me off. I open my eyes and it looks like fog. I rub them again and notice that lady from before sitting in front of me. Is she asleep? Miss, you asleep? No. Oh, I just figured since her eyes were closed and all. I can't sleep. I look at her weird and flinch. Something rolled out of my hair. It drops on the ground. Looks like a shell. Oh, it's one of the chestnuts. Why are these in my hair? I ruffle up the top of my skull, finding two more nuts and a burr. Whoa, did she throw these at me? I look at her and arch an eyebrow. Her cheeks are wet, her nose is red, and her ears are low. She looks like one of my kid brothers after falling off a curb. Mm. I can't really think of what to tell her. Maybe I'll just say that I, what I always say. Did you do something bad? Tell me the truth. Piss off. Yikes. She's in that mood again. Um, listen. If you got mad cause I... What I just say. She says that like a fact instead of a question. I freeze up. Piss off. what I do? I thought I was being nice. You want me out of here? She keeps staring at the floor. I'm a little scared now. What time is it? it doesn't look like sunset. It's not sundown yet. I, I don't think I can't leave. But the, the deals. Leave. If I mess up the leave. <sighs> what am I supposed to do? I don't want to leave. If I mess up a deal with a fiend, I'm going to hell. Or is it worse? Oh man, if it's worse, I can't just walk out. Maybe if she... <clears throat> You're kidding. Whoops, didn't want to say that. Good, it was quiet. See, my eyes are shaking, looking at her like leaf pile. Because there aren't any chestnuts in it. The deal was she had to toss chestnuts to me, and she did that, sort of. I'm out of luck here. I can't leave, lady. It's lady now? Sorry, God. Leave. I want you to be leaving, walking out of here. Go and be damned, villain. I just look at her. I'm biting my teeth together, and my heart's going wild. Burn in hell, dog. It's where you belong with all the blasted, foul creatures of your ilk. Calm the hell down. She picks up her head from her arms and glares at me. J just calm down, all right? Calm down already. You really are an idiot. Well, well, you're crazy. Why the heck are you mad at me? Why'd you even talk to me, lady? What do you want? You're lonely, right? That's it, right? She starts standing up. Well, I'm not going to let her look that far down on me. I'm standing up too. I'll even stepped up to her. I ain't letting her get the better of me. <laughs> I ain't got no problem scrapping with you, lady. I'll knock your block off. You just swore against my family and I ain't going to stand for that, all right? Of course, I'm quaking in my boots while I say this. No, I swore against your race. I gulp and frown. Your entire, miserable, sin-hearted race. <laughs> know what I'd do if I got out of this circle? She steps forward. I step back. Yes or no? 
No. She leans forward just before what I'd guess is the barrier. I can feel her breathing on my face. It's cold and warm. Kill the whole lot of them. Kill the men, kill the women, kill the babies, lasses and lads like you. To lads like you, I'll dive my hands into their guts, wrench out their innards string by string, and set them on fire. I... I... I'm crying a little. I'm sorry, okay? I don't know what happened to you. I, I just wanted to know and be nice and... She leans back, standing up straight, and breathes out. I swear I see flames coming out of her mouth. Airy. Are you scared? I nod fast. Why? Uh, I, I don't... I can't touch you, see? All of a sudden, she pushes her hand toward my face. My eyes widen. My whole body locks up. What am I seeing? I am trapped before here. Her skin's burning off in a bright yellow glow. I can see her muscles, charred, black, turning inside out. Fire's blazing all over her hand. There's white in there. Her bones. I, I can't watch. Watch. I turn back from turning away. Your blood's evaporating. She grimaces and tears fill up at the sides of her eyes. One drops rolling down her cheek and her hand shoots back to her like it's spring loaded. I can't leave, understand? Do you follow Sod for Brains? She holds up the twisty stump sticking to her wrist. This right here, this is what I've known too long. Her hand starts coming back together, the melted parts splitting and the bones getting covered back up. There's this popping noise with everything. I go green in the face. I can't kill your people. I want to, but I won't be able to leave here. Follow? What? Why are you trapped there? Would you believe me if I said it was a punishment? If I said it was an accident? An unjust imprisonment? Whatever I say, whatever you believe, it doesn't matter. I was trapped here before the world even had a concept of your more. I was trapped here long, 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 long ago, and so, for reasons that no longer matter. I, I, I don't think you're speaking honest with me. How's that? Told you before, you need to calm the hell down. How? I swallow, hold my fist tight. How do I get you out of there? Hmm? She can't believe what I'm saying. Ugh, me neither. But I'm still gonna say it. She shakes her head. You've lost it. I shake my head. Nah, I still got it. I know what I just asked you. Tell me how to get you out of there. If you haven't lost it, you never had it in the first place. I suspected as much. You're touched, aren't you? Look, I got no idea what you're saying, but I'm still thinking straight. And dropping your G's. Shut your trap already. Hush and listen, you rude little pest. I shut my trap. You even know what you're saying? Remember what you're talking to. I, I just, just think that... I didn't just mess them up. Huh? I did not just mess up the men who raped her. I bore my nails hot into their eyes and tore off their faces. What? And that's not all that I did. When I first saw her lying there, body warm only from the bodies of others and eyes with no spark in them, I set the den where she died to flame. I came upon all who lived in her town and murdered them. I torched their homes and pulled the ribs from their chests. 
crushed their heads, snapped their bones, stripped off their flesh. If it could torment them, I did it. And in case you're wondering, you're all the same to me. I killed all kinds of you, one kind, human. Sex, age, I didn't pay any mind when I slew them. Holy shit. Soon they gathered at the center of the town where I'd first caught sight of her, as if to mock me. So I melted them all to the earth, slowly. On the night that she died, I erased that town from records. All my fighting spirits gone. Why'd you tell me that? You asked. I didn't want... You didn't have to tell me all the, the whole story. You're right. I didn't. But didn't you want to know? What the hell is wrong with you? I'm a fiend. Hold... No, that's bull. Is that why you got put here? No. Really? Yes. Holy shit. I've done many things in my life. Things some find admirable, and others some find despicable. I put a curse on a family for all their generations, saved a gaggle of slaves from the tyranny of their fellow man. I've ruined a marriage and I've restored another, slaughtered a town and rescued a child. I've done so many things. And of all of those I've mentioned, not a one of them is the reason I'm here. You forgot? Oh no, I remember it quite clearly. But as I said, the reason no longer matters. I just don't get it. You wanted me to save you, right? I swore that's what you wanted. <laughs> but now you're telling me all these mixed up things. What the heck am I supposed to think? What the heck do you want? You gone. I breathe out through my nose and close my eyes. Nah, nah, there's no way. I shake my head again. You gotta be lying to me. I don't think all complicated, sure, but I know when someone's lying to me. Why the heck are you lying to me? I know you don't want me to leave. What happened to you? I look in her eyes. How long have you been in there? I don't know. I don't know anymore. <laughs> you don't know? That's what I said, I. What the hell's up with that? I can't be right. All fiends got this knack for knowing the hour exactly, the second. It's famous, so what the heck's it mean if they lose it? Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, how much did you love that girl? I... I hear something click in her throat. <laughs> she doesn't look like she wants to say. Shut up. I... I feel bad for her. This is goddamn weird, but it's like, she's so sad. Everything about this lady's sad, I mean it. She's just damn miserable and pathetic. She's so... You really don't know how long you've been in there? Yes. I think you've been in there for too long. I don't think you really want to kill people. Then you're a fool. Quiet, I've had enough of that joke. Tell me how to save you. <laughs> I reach out to her and grab her hand. That hand that got screwed up and healed now. I hold on to it. Come on. She stares at me. She looks at my hand, holds it with both of hers, and squeezes it. She locks her eyes with me. <laughs> I need to be switched with another life. That's the only way for me to leave. I put on my manliest face. I'm not going to switch with you. Listen. I keep her from saying anything else. I'm going to find another way, all right? What the hell could you do? I'll plant something in your place. Nothing can grow here. I am a fiend, I. That. Damn. 
Right. How am I going to? I shake my head. Doesn't matter that. Land's going to be fine once you're out, right? At least that's what I think. That's what I've read. Mm. Look, you just got to believe in me. I look up and finally notice that the sun is gone. You don't want me to leave anymore. I can feel that. She's really holding on tight. But believe in me. Let me go and I'll save you. She looks at her hands again. And she cuts into mine with her nail. Ow. I wince. <laughs> Dang. Now come on, don't do this. I look at her face. She's still staring at my hand. Let me go. <laughs> come on. She wouldn't, right? Don't. Don't pull me in. Stop pulling me. I'm trying to calm down my heart. I'm trying not to lose it. But it's hard when she's bringing my arm a little bit closer. And a little bit more. Come on, come on, please. Trust me. She digs her nails into me again. Damn. Ow. Ow. Uh. Uh. Please, please let me go, please. Come on, let me go. Let me go. I whisper that, not thinking about it. My eyes are shut. I'm piss scared. I don't want to get stuck in there. I can feel her looking at me and I breathe faster. I'm trying to be calm. I can feel my lips moving, pleading. And after a while, real slow, she does it. I open my eyes shocked. She's let go of my hand and holding hers up now where mine was. And she's about to drop it. I toughen up and grab it again. We make eye contact. Believe in me. Got it? She doesn't say anything. I let go of her hand and pick up my satchel from inside her space. We hold a look. I beg you, don't betray me, please. I won't betray you, I promise. The walls don't shake, my voice don't boom. I take a step back and another one and I run out of there. It's cold now. I'm actually shivering. The moon's high, the grass is glowing. It's dark, but it's beautiful. It's quiet like before. Like always, right? It's just wind and dead leaves. Even animals don't walk through this place. I wonder how long it's been since people did. At least this is probably the first time someone's walked through here with a sapling in their hand. I step into the big room and look out ahead, rub my thumb over a branch of the tree I'm garrying. I can see her there on the floor, her hands over her face. I know she can hear me, since whenever I move even a little, her ears flick. I walk forward. Wiping her nose with the back of her hand, she stands up and breathes out loudly. She opens her eyes, and I'm kind of surprised when I see them glowing. I stop at the edge of the barrier. She looks at me. You look a mess. Yeah, well. My belly growls and I sniff. It's pretty hard to dig out a tree properly with no real tools, especially one like this. We both checked out the sapling. Isn't that... Uh, yep. An olive sapling. I didn't pick it since I wanted to make fun of you. Olive trees are strong. If there's anything that's going to take a root in dirt like this, it's an olive. Right. Step back. I'm coming in. She does that after a second or two, and I walk into her place. Bending down, I hold the olive up to her. Take it. She does that, too, after thinking about it. I take a sharp rock out of my pocket that I picked up outside and stab into the ground with it, cracking the floor. Sticks pretty bad in here, but I can still yank it out. I do that and keep breaking up the earth. 
I can feel the lady staring, and I know what she's thinking. Even if I'm a kid, I can still see this soul's pretty bad. My eyes as good as Ma's, at least. And this lady definitely knows as good as me how it is for growing. If anything grows, it'll be with awful chances. Seriously, and all is about the only thing around that might. Making matters worse, I ain't got very long before that sapling's as good as dead. The roots are good and all, but it's not. And honestly, I don't know the difference from a good sapling to a bad one. Sort of just went with my gut. So knowing most of that, she's probably thinking of just walking out. That's what's gotta happen, right? Two living things get in, only one gets out. But I'm not going to check on her and see if she leaves. It's not that I'm trusting her. I can't trust her, but this is about all I can think of. Getting her out and not leaving me in, I mean. If I look at her, I show her that I'm worried. That'd mess up everything. So I've got to keep at it. Got to break up this spot. I stab and I pull and I dig, clearing out stones and dirt. Pile all the dirt up next to me. Gonna need it later, bad as it is. After a lot of effort, I lean back and look at the hole I made. Then, slow, I turn to see if she's still there. And she is. I hold up my hand. She gives me the olive. I take it up and open up my satchel, filled with wet, healthy soil I gathered while I was gone. I carefully transplant the sapling, putting some good soil over its roots, filling the hole back up with a proper mix of my collected stuff and the dirt from the foundation. Careful now. Careful with the roots. Okay. This should be good. I take my canteen from the cliff at my waist and open it up. This is filled with spring water. Took a while to find that. Honestly, it took me a while to do everything. Kinda feel bad about it, but I moved as fast as I could. Anyway, there should be enough here for a healthy first watering. Won't drown it. Pour the insides of the bottle over the leaves and plot. Screwing it closed when I'm done, putting it back on my waist. That's it. <sighs> That's it. That's all? I stand up, wiping sweat away from my brow. Yeah. We both look outside the circle for a while. I give her a look from my side. She's still looking out. <sighs> Breathe. Okay. Step forward. She doesn't move. I leave her side and turn around. We both stare at the olive tree. Did it work? I open my mouth to ask, but close it again when I see her. She's scared. She's at the edge of the barrier. I'm scared. Oh man, I just realized. If just touching it before hurt her so much, how did it feel when she pushed her whole hand through? She had a stone face when she did it, but God, I can't say anything to that. I don't know what that feels like. Man. Seeing her like that, shaking with fear and panic and just thinking about moving ahead, I can feel my eyes welling up. I just try not to cry. For her. She loosens up her shoulders and puts her hands over her chest. With her eyes closed, she jerks forward. Wait! Her foot passes over the line. My hand is up in the air. I wanted to stop her. I didn't want to see that pain anymore. She jerks her other foot forward, completely leaving the spot. She steps again, faltering. Again and again, she walks to me. She lowers herself and just embraces me. I wrap my arms around her. Her skin warms up all over as she nuzzles her face affectionately into my neck, rubs her nose over my cheek. She just eases into me weak. I bring up one of my hands and pet her head. I'm crying. It's okay now. I choke. It's okay, right? 
She just rests on me, taking away any of the nipping cold in my body. She breathes out past my ear. Thank you. I hug her a little closer. I'm sorry. I shake my head, trying not to break down. Can I just stay like this? For a little bit? You're familiar. You're strong. Yeah. Yeah, you can. She brushes her nose on me again, whispering something. I can't hear what it is. She holds me tightly and we don't say anything else. You're a surprisingly emotional lad. Are all lads like that now? I, it just really hurt looking at you, that's all. Right, right. I'm sure that it did, really. I was quite emotional myself. <laughs> if Mother saw me like that. <laughs> I wonder if Mother's still alive. When did I last see this place from here? Hmm. Has it really been forgotten? Yeah, I'd never heard of it. That's a good thing. I think that's a good thing. What was it like here? Did you like it? It was normal. Extraordinarily normal. So normal, in fact, that I had to file down my horns just to get around. What about your ears? My ears? What about them? You didn't have to hide them? No, I didn't have to. I only looked fiendish with just my ears, like an unfortunate halfling. It little bothered anyone before. If it did, I'd grow my hair long. Huh. As I was saying, this town... This town... I might have liked it once. Though when I first came here, I never would have expected the stay. Hmm. Ah, uh, yes. The boy was lost, wasn't he? You've any idea how to get back to your home? Uh, obviously not. Don't get smart. I'll help you there. Really? I can't assure you when we will find it, but I'll assure you that we shall for certs. I'll take you there. I may as well. You're not going to go travel? I chuckle. This should be enough of a journey after standing so long. Hmm. We'll camp by the eastward spring for tonight. You know of the one east? It's still there? Yep. At least it's probably the same one I'm thinking of. Can you fish at all? Not without a rod, no. Then I'll fish for you, but you'll have to prepare it. Can't do everything for you. Hmm. What time is it? You ask me the time? Sorry, just so out of it. Mm. Since I leaned on you earlier, you can lay on me while you sleep. I'll keep you warm. He glances at me briefly and looks pensive. He shuts his eyes. Uh, I'll do that. He opens them again, keeping their stare from me. Thank you. I smirk at him. Hmm. What should I even think? I thought this wouldn't happen. Huh? Am I actually asleep? Dreaming? If you are, that'd be weird for me. I'm glad you stayed. I laugh. <laughs> I'm glad you're a fool. Hmm. Really, I am. I can't say it enough. It's all right. Don't consort with any fiends other than me. Got it. I honestly feel like this isn't real. But I know that it is. Let's go then. My mind has become so lucid since I've been freed. Bright. So bright that it nearly blinds me. But I can tell. I. I'm happy.
The sun shines a different way now, different from all the ways I've seen it before. I'd thought I'd seen them all, but this one's different, much more different, pleasant. Watching it come up this morning with him resting at my chest was profoundly serene. Having him calmly there through the moonlight made it better than any other time. And now, a moor brimming with life, that's where I'm going, to guide him, free of charge. And after that, who can say? The world has changed, I greatly changed. It doesn't feel at all the same. My friends have died, I can tell that from the air. Dead, and I could not wish them farewell. My kin too are dead. On this path, breathing fresh from the winds, I can feel these things and new things. Though fiends still roam, I know no one alive. No one. But this boy here, I think that by him being here, there is company. I want to keep with him, if only from afar. I want for his life to go well. And as for mine, when he's gone, I think that I'll go too. Perhaps it is not the best use of the time he returned to me, but I am tired. Tired, but I can stay awake a little longer. for juniper's knot thank you so much for sticking around that was my 25,000 subscriber special i hate that it was so short like it was really good i forgot that it was a sweet story um i chose it because it featured like a demon and a boy you know that kind of supernatural element i wanted to stick with it but um overall it was a good story it was a nice feel good story and i almost teared up there a little bit if you couldn't tell Anyway, thank you guys so much. Um, I'll try to figure out another visual novel to read for my 26,000 subscriber special. Uh, I don't know. I may do something weird and start reading Higurashi. God, that is such a long story, though. Like, good lord. I'd have to spit that up into, like, 30 chapters or something. I don't know. But anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this. I had a lot of fun reading it. And um, I look forward to the next story. I'll figure something out, guys. I promise I will. Uh, but anyway, until the next time, bye!